Welcome back to another Ark Survival Guide. Now, you're probably already wondering what on earth is going on and what am I writing? Well, boom, that's a griffin. Now, most of you who are playing Ark on Switch don't even know what this is, but today I am going to teach you how to summon a griffin using console commands or admin commands, also known as arc cheats. Now I'm going to teach you how to use admin commands to fix glitches and problems in your arc game and to just make it much more fun to play. A lot of you have told me you've had a really awesome dinosaur that you loved that had some kind of glitch where it got stuck inside a rock or something happened where the game just messed up on you and you lost your dinosaur. Well today I am going to show you how to use use console commands to fix that. Now, I'm going to teach you the commands, but I'll also teach you how to do them to just fix glitches without actually breaking your game, because it can get pretty wonky and dangerous to use some of these commands. Now, some of you have just said that Arc is too hard and you kind of gave up on it. Well, what if you could just make it super fun and get all the dinosaurs to just leave you alone? And at that point, the game just becomes a beautiful paradise that you can build on and just relax and have a nice vacation. So I'll teach you how to do some console commands that will do that too. Or if you just don't have the time to run around gathering tons of resources, I'll show you how to spawn in resources. But some of these console commands are really dangerous and you can actually get yourself killed pretty easily. So I will definitely show you how to do these safely without putting yourself or your dinos in danger and without actually breaking your game. So be sure to watch this whole episode and I will teach you all about that. Now, with great power comes great responsibility, and you can certainly use these as cheats to make your game way too easy, but we'll talk all about that and go over how to use console commands safely without actually causing your game any problems. Now normally I will put timestamps into a longer video like this so you can skip around, but I actually recommend watching the whole thing because throughout this video I'll be teaching you some safety tips so it's really a good idea to just watch the entire video. It will be incredibly helpful even for those of you who don't want to use any of these commands in any cheating way, but even I myself have had to use some console commands to fix glitches that really were going to break my game and mess things up. So be sure to watch this whole video. It will be incredible incredibly helpful, and we'll show you some stuff that makes it extremely fun too if you choose to do some of that. So before we can actually use any admin commands on Arc, we have to open up the admin command window. Now if you're playing Arc on PC, admin commands are really easy. You just hit the tab key, a little box pops up at the bottom of the screen, type in the admin command, and then hit enter and it will execute the command. With consoles, it's a little bit more difficult. We have to pause the game and on the pause screen, we will punch in a combination of buttons at the same time and a little box will pop up for admin commands. Now it's the same format for each console. It's the top left bumper, top right bumper, and then the top left two buttons. And on Switch it's L1, R1, X and Y. On Xbox it's L1, R1, Y and X. And on PS4 it's going to be L1, R1, triangle and square. You pause the game and you'll see this little pause menu pops up and then we're going to push all of those buttons at exactly the same time and this little admin command window pops up at the top. Now after you've turned off your game that will go away and you'll have to punch in those buttons again to pull it back up. So in this little box we can just select this box and then click it and we'll actually be able to type in the admin commands using this little keypad. Now each system has this. Switch is easier because it's a touch screen, but the exact same commands will work on every console and PC exactly the same. Now if you're playing online, only the administrator of the server can actually use admin commands. That's why they're called admin commands. Go figure. So if you're playing online, unless you have admin privileges, none of these are going to work. 
work, but they will work on your offline game no problem. Now if you are a server administrator and you need to use Arc Admin commands, you're going to have to start by actually enabling cheats. So you're going to type in enable cheats and then you punch in the admin password. So it's enable cheats space and then whatever the admin password is. And when you do that, that is actually going to activate cheats. Now if you're playing on consoles, you should not be having to do this, but if for some reason your cheats are not working, go ahead and punch in enable cheats and that should enable all of your admin commands to work. So once you've punched in your admin command in this box, you'll see it right there, you're going to click this button that's highlighted in yellow that says admin command and that actually executes the command and then when you unpause the game, whatever command you've punched in should actually have been activated. Now if you're playing online as a server admin, you're usually going to have to put admin cheat or just cheat and then a space before all of these admin commands that I'm teaching you. If you're offline playing on your own game, you'll probably just be able to type in just the commands that I'll show you. But if for some reason something is not working, check your spelling first but then try putting cheat space before it or admin cheat space and then usually that will fix any glitches. Also, admin commands are not case sensitive, so you can type in all lowercase and it's fine. So the first command I will teach you is fly, and this is going to let us fly. And this is the quickest and easiest way to see if cheats are working on your server. So I'm just gonna type that in, hit done, click the admin command and then unpause the game and now when I jump and hold down the jump button I can just keep on going up and fly around which is pretty fun as it is now you move pretty slowly when you're flying but it's kinda cool to just be able to run on the air like this now I usually will not ever use this in normal gameplay, but I have had times where like I was taming a T-Rex and I jumped down onto a rock ledge that was quite a few stories above him, and somehow I glitched through the rock, which was definitely a good foothold, fell down to my almost death, and so I paused the game, enabled fly, flew myself back up to the rock, and then I was actually able to stand on it. It was just a glitch. So that can actually help you for any glitches where you randomly just fall. Now to turn that off, you're going to type in walk, and that will actually get you back on the ground. Be careful not to do that from too high up, or you can injure your feet. Now also, if you go into the water, it will cancel the fly command and if you jump on a dinosaur and then jump back off it cancels the fly. So that's a really helpful thing if some glitch knocks you off a ledge. Now this next command is great if you just want to play arc and not get hurt to be totally invincible. You can just type in god and that is going to make you completely invincible. No dinosaurs can hurt you. They will still attack you and they'll still be pretty nasty but no damage can damage you. Now you can still drown under god mode. Your oxygen will still go down and you can still die underwater, so do keep that in mind. But for most practical purposes, you are generally invincible and you can just walk up to some dinos and pick a fight and nothing will hurt you. I'm trying to find a shark because, I mean, everybody wants to punch a shark, so we'll see what we can do here. But, uh, you know, first thing I can find, I guess that Dilo will do. We'll just uh, stand in front of him and see what he can do to us. Now, if you have been trying out Ark and you just found it to be too hard, you weren't having any fun because you're dying too much, and you don't really care about the challenge of survival, you can just make everything no longer hurt you, and it's just a really fun game where you can build stuff and tame dinos and just have a blast. So that's not a bad idea if you just really want to change the scene on Ark and just make it super easy. Now I can sit here all day and this guy does zero damage, I just can't take damage. But another thing I can do if I get tired of having dinos attacking me all the time is a command that's leave me alone. And you type that in and when we hit the admin command, 
all dinosaurs no longer notice us. We are completely invisible to them. Leave Me Alone also activates a bunch of other commands, and I believe God Mode is one of them, but you basically become invincible and invisible to all enemies, and you can just have fun exploring and nothing will bother you. Now, this isn't really a fix for Ark. It's more of a game changer if you just don't like the way the game's going, but it can make Ark really fun if you're not really interested in the survival aspect of it. Now, most of these buffs you can turn on and off by typing the same code that you use to activate it. So if you type God again, it will turn off God mode and you're no longer invincible. Now, GM buff, I would say never use because it's a permanent cheat. If you type in GM buff, you max level your character, get all of the engram points, but you can never undo it, so be really careful which admin commands you use. Now I'll be right back and then I'll show you how to summon items and dinosaurs and how to fix stuck dinosaurs and rafts. Now before I teach you how to summon an item, let me show you how to find the item's ID number. So I am here at arc.gamepedia.com, or you can just Google Arc Wiki, and this is an amazing resource for all things Arc. Now in the top right button here, I can type in whatever I'm looking for, and it's really good and intuitive. Now I can select Raft, and then it'll usually show up a suggestion. And right here, I've got a wooden raft. Now, if I go down to the right-hand side, you see here it says Spawn Command. And if I click Expand, it's going to tell me exactly what to type in for the admin command to spawn in that raft. And if you're playing on PC, you can actually click that little clipboard icon and it will copy it to your clipboard. And then you can just hit Control V to paste it into the admin bar. Now there's a couple other ways you can summon things, but there's usually a much faster code to just go give item num and then the item identifier. So let me show you how we're actually going to use that. So now back in the game, I am going to type give item num space, and then I'm going to type in the number for the identification number of the wooden raft, which is 414, as we just looked up on the wiki. Now I'm going to hit space, and this next digit in the code tells me how many rafts I should get. And then we go space zero, space zero. You've always got to have those last two zeros in that code. And once we've got that all typed out, I can hit done, and then hit the admin command button, and then when I resume, it'll actually add one wooden raft. Now you can do that with any item in the entire game that you want to spawn in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this raft for now because they get pretty heavy, because the next thing I'll show you is how to get more than one of an item. Now the number after the identification number is the quantity of that item that you want. So if I change this to a 10 and then punch that in again, it will give me 10 wooden rafts. So now I'm too heavy to move and I'll dump most of these rafts into the ocean, but I'll keep one for another demonstration. Now, there have been times I was playing, especially on my extinction file where the game has just randomly deleted items and I had to summon them back in to fix the glitch. On extinction, after the second day, it randomly deleted all of my items and my base, so I was able to use these codes to summon everything back in and save myself from losing hours of work, and I was able to continue my series, otherwise I would not have been able to. Now another thing you can do is you can type in give resources, and that will give you 50 of every item. So if you're really lazy and you don't care, you can save yourself a lot of time by just summoning in 50 of all items, and then you can just keep whatever you want to do. Now this is pretty cheaty. I don't do this myself unless there's a serious glitch that erases some of my stuff. But if you don't care about that, then feel free to just summon in all the resources you need and have some fun with it. Because ultimately, Ark is a game, and it is whatever you want it to be. And if it's more fun for you to have unlimited resources, 
hey, have fun. But if you follow my guide series, I'll teach you ways to get resources even faster than cheating, which is pretty crazy. Now, I have had several people say, help, my favorite dinosaur is stuck inside a wall. There was some kind of a glitch where my raft is now stuck on the shore and it can't move. And there's so many things that can happen in ARC where a glitch will cause something to get stuck. And we'll be right back and then I'll show you how to fix a stuck dinosaur or a stuck raft using admin commands. So here's another example of an admin command that I have personally had to use to fix my game. Now I built this awesome raft fortress and if you follow my series you will see that I had a while where I was stuck in the swamp. There was some kind of a glitch and my raft just got stuck in the sand and it couldn't come out. Now this is a very very dangerous admin command. Now be really careful and watch this whole part before you even attempt to use it. If you type the word ghost it will allow your raft to pass right through anything that it's stuck on and usually it will stay on the ocean. But there are some things that can go terribly wrong. If you go just a little bit too far into the land, you can sail right through the land. And if you're in the wrong spot, you sail over the edge of the water. Now, in this case, it pushed me back up to the surface, but you can actually end up having yourself and your raft fall over the edge and fall into the abyss below the world, and they're just lost. Now, one thing to be really careful of when you're doing ghost is sometimes it makes you pass right through the ground too. So if you don't use the fly command, you can actually just fall to your death even trying to walk on the ground. So as soon as you hit that ghost command, be prepared to fall through the world, pause the game, and then use the fly command so you can fly back up. But if you're on your raft, your raft may be lost forever. You may also need to use the ghost command again when you're actually on the raft in order to get it to to sail through things. But once again, be extremely careful using this command. Now, a lot of you have told me you've had some kind of a glitch where your dino got stuck and it could not get out. Maybe it's stuck in a rock or a wall or something like that, and there's no way to mount it anymore. Now, here I am on PC. The first thing I wanna do is type fly to make sure that I'm not gonna fall through the ground. And then I can type in the admin command ghost. Now, it gets a little sketchy on PC, I'll show you why in a second, but as long as you're flying, you're not going to fall through the ground. So I recommend hitting fly first and then ghost. That makes things a lot easier. So now I can pass right through the wall and I can find where this triceratops is and I should be able to actually hop on the triceratops from the other side of the wall. And now I should be able to ride him. And I'm also going to make sure I'm flying here. I've got to have that ready to go, and now I'm going to ride on him. There is a chance he'll fall, and you'll have to hit fly really fast to keep from dying. But it worked this time, and now I have a Triceratops who also is able to pass through the rock and fly. Now, once you hop on your dino, you may also have to hit fly again. You may have to hit ghost again, and that may be what you need to reactivate it. Sometimes when you hop on, it takes away the fly and the ghost, and now this guy is just fine and normal. But be prepared to hit fly really fast to keep yourself from falling. Now you can use fly to make a dinosaur fly. Like if it gets stuck in a pit that there's no way to get it out of, you may actually be able to use the fly command to fly your dino out, even if it's a land dino. So there's something totally crazy about a triceratops walking in the air, right? I'm gonna go ahead and despawn this guy when I'm done, but check it out, that's pretty ridiculous, right? You can totally break your game using these things and by break your game, I mean just make it ridiculously easy so it's no longer fun. But if you've got a dino that's stuck and you can no longer use it, totally use those admin commands and that way you can get your dino back out and have fun again. Now a lot of you have told me you worked really hard to tame a cool dinosaur and then you logged back in and it was just gone. The game just deleted it for no reason, just some glitch. And that can happen. That's actually 
actually happened to me before, where a dinosaur just disappeared out of the middle of my base. Now in this next section, I'm going to show you how to summon a dinosaur to replace the one that the game just deletes by some weird glitch. So we're back on the ARC wiki website, and I'm going to show you how to find the spawn commands to summon any dinosaur in the entire game. Now it's very intuitive in this search bar, so for example, if I type in frog, the game knows that the frog is called the Beelzebufo, even if you don't know that. So it's pretty helpful if you just punch something in the search bar here. So I'm going to search for the griffin, and once again on the right hand side, and the sidebar there is the spawn command section and I can expand right there and this is going to be the command to summon a griffin there's other methods you can use and different strings of code that can be used to summon a griffin but I'll show you those at a different video there's some more advanced summon commands we can use I'm also going to summon a wyvern later on which is not something you can summon yet on arc switch but the other consoles can summon one and some dinos like the wyvern have different variations so it'll show you the spawn commands for the default wyvern but also how to summon things like the lightning wyvern which is a little bit further down the list and that's the one we're going to try to summon into our game. So check that out. Uh, you can do that with just about any dino. So if one of your dinos is deleted, we're going to be able to use these commands to bring that dinosaur back. So we'll jump back into the game and I'll show you how that works. Now we're back in the game and I'm going to open up the console command here again and we're going to type in summon space and then we'll type in the code for that specific dinosaur, which in this case, we just looked it up. It's griffin underscore character underscore BP underscore C. Little bit of a mouthful. You've got to make sure the underscores are all correct. And some of these can be pretty difficult to type in, but make sure if it doesn't work, you double check all of your characters exactly. Now, I have been told by several users that you can actually use this on Arc Switch right now. And even though the Griffin does not officially exist, you can still summon one in. So feel free to try that. It may or may not work for you you, but it's definitely worth a try. Now, you'll notice this griffin is wild and crazy, and he is just tearing up everything around. And a lot of times, especially with like a Tapehara or something, if you summon the dino, it will immediately fly away or just kill you. So what you can do is if we type in the code players only, that actually freezes all dinosaurs in place and it only allows the character yourself to be able to actually move. So we're going to type in players only to freeze all the rest of the dinosaurs. And now we can just walk around and do whatever and they're all stuck in place and unable to attack us. So I'm going to punch this Dilophosaur right here that the Griffin's trying to kill. And he's now dead, even though he's still standing up. He is not allowed to animate dying, but he's actually on the ground dead right now. You just look, you can't really see him, he's just standing here. So that's kind of cool and helpful in a lot of ways. Now, if you've got a dino that you want to tame, you can actually type in force tame and it will instantly tame that dinosaur. This not only tames the dinosaur, but it allows you to ride it without a saddle. So it'll function just like it had a saddle. So there we go. We just tamed this griffin just by typing in force tame. And now we can ride it, which is pretty cool. Now griffins are a lot of fun to ride. If you're sprinting, you can do a nosedive and they will get crazy fast. They pick up a ton of speed. But 
But as you can see, the rest of the game is still frozen in time because when I used players only, it only allows myself and anything that I'm riding right now to be able to move. So if I type players only again, it's going to unfreeze the rest of the game. Now, summoning in a griffin is a pretty big cheat, especially if you're playing Arc Switch and it does not currently have griffins. But once again, if there's a game glitch that deletes one of your dinosaurs, you can summon back in a tamed dinosaur to replace the one that the game deleted. Another thing that can happen is, this happened to me once, my Dodicarus suddenly just was glitched and it could not harvest stone ever again. It wasn't overweight, it's just I would smash a boulder, the boulder would smash, but there would be no stone given to me and it was just permanently broken. So I just deleted it and resummoned a new Dodicarus of the same level to replace it. Now we can make our life much easier by summoning a dinosaur that is already tame when it spawns. And to do that, all we have to do is replace the word summon with summon tamed. And then when the dinosaur spawns in, it will already be tamed and ready to ride. That makes things a lot easier if you're summoning something dangerous like this wyvern that I'm summoning. That thing would immediately start destroying everything around as soon as it spawned in. But instead, I'm going to get a perfectly tame and ready to ride wyvern. Now, I'm sorry to say if you're playing Ark on Switch, a Switch version does not have wyverns yet in the game, but you should still be able to summon a griffin. From what I hear, that actually is part of the game already. Now, the rest of you playing on console, Xbox One, or PS4 can actually summon a wyvern. Now, the next thing I'll show you is how to give your dinosaur infinite stats. Now, it's basically god mode for a dino, but what's really great about this particular cheat is it allows your dinosaur to fly infinitely without ever running out of stamina. So, if you type in give infinite stats to target, and you're currently facing your camera right at your dinosaur, then it should give you this buff, which will allow that dinosaur to have infinite stamina. So now I can shoot off lightning bolts infinitely and it never affects my stamina gauge. This is really handy to summon a wyvern, give it infinite stats, if you just wanna fly around the map just for a little while and just have some fun with it. So a lot of times when I'm doing a map tour, I will actually summon a wyvern or a griffin and just fly around, take some video of the scenery and show you guys all the cool things on that map. But I just use the summon command to do that and then I give it infinite stats so I don't have to stop the video every five minutes to land and just wait for my stamina to recharge. So that's a lot of fun to do that. So quick warning, the infinite stats buff actually wears off off when you re-log and sometimes even when you dismount your dinosaur that buff will go away so double check to make sure its stamina is still infinite before you go flying too far. Now another thing you can do is let's say you're done riding your wyvern and you want it to disappear. There is a command where you can instantly kill a dinosaur. You just type in kill and as long as that dino is in your crosshairs it will instantly be killed and that should do the trick right there. Now I think that Compi just happened to die at the same time. We may have killed both of them, I'm not sure. But the kill command will actually give you experience and leave the dinosaur's body there, which you then have to harvest and clean up and all that stuff. But let's go find something else to try. Okay, so here's a moss chops. Now there's another command that we can do, which is a little bit better in my opinion, because it won't give you crazy experience, and that is destroy my target. And what that does is make a dinosaur disappear as if it was never there. There's no experience, there's no loot, nothing. It just is gone. And this is really handy if some kind of crazy glitch happens where a dinosaur spawns and it just should not have spawned. Or here's a good example. One of my subscribers said he was taming a T-Rex and he was on a cliff about 10 stories above its head and it suddenly glitched and flew up to the top of the cliff and was killing him. Now, if something like that happened, you could pause the game, 
and then use the players only command to stop it from moving and then destroy my target and he'll disappear. Now be very, very careful using destroy my target because it will also destroy buildings and your own dinosaurs too. So it's an extremely dangerous command to use. You have to make sure nothing else is in your line of sight because you might destroy the wrong thing and you might never be able to get it back. So be very careful with that, but it can be very handy for fixing glitches. Now we really got lucky here because this is a perfect example of the next command I'm going to show you. Now do you see there's like 10 dodos in a square block radius? That's ridiculous anyway. But there is a command where we can destroy all dinosaurs of a particular species. It will leave all other dinos alone, but it will destroy every dodo in this case all around me. So if you type in destroy all space and then you type in the dinosaurs code which is the same code you use to summon them then that will destroy every one of that dinosaur all around you. Now there was one time on the center that it spawned like a thousand snakes and I was like snakes why did it have to be snakes but uh, seriously I used that command to destroy all snakes and my game was back to normal. Now another similar command is the destroy wild dinos command which wipes out every wild dino in the entire area maybe the entire map except your tamed dinosaurs. This is helpful if there's like an update where there's a new dinosaur available and you can wipe out the map and that dinosaur will start respawning in with the other dinosaurs. Or if something like what happened to me happens and it dumps the entire content of a cave right onto the surface and your game is crashing because there's so much going on, you can destroy all the spawns and go back to normal again. Now here's another really helpful command is give exp to target. I can give experience to any dinosaur and make it level up instantly. So I type give exp to target space and then the amount of experience points I want it to get space and then zero space one. And when I hit that it is going to give this griffin that much experience. It's got to be something in your crosshairs, but now it's got 13 levels from that 500 experience points I gave it. Now you can give it a thousand XP, you can give it 10,000 XP, you can do whatever you want, just depending on how many levels you want it to gain. So let's say you had a dinosaur that was like level 200 and it just, you logged in one day and some glitch had made it disappear. Well, you can now summon one back in and even if the summon dinosaur is like level 10, you can do the give exp to target and bump it back up to level 200. So that should have you in pretty good shape to fix or replace pretty much anything that goes wrong. So that's all the commands I want to talk to you about today, but there are so many console commands I have not covered that can do all kinds of things, including controlling the weather and just about anything you can think of to control ARC. So we'll be right back and then I'll show you exactly where to find a list of every one of these commands so you can look it up yourself. Now we're back on the ARC wiki website, which is just a wealth of knowledge of ARC, and I'm going to type in the search box console commands, and that'll take us to the console commands page. Now this is a comprehensive list of just about every single cheat code and admin command for ARC. Now you can jump on the right hand side by clicking these links and that'll take you right to specific sections. But as you can see there are way too many commands for me to cover in one video. Now I will say some of these have long lasting results, some of these can have unintentional side effects like for example the ghost command on PC makes it so anytime I try to walk on the ground I fall right through and even if I type the walk command which is supposed to cancel ghost it doesn't so I have to actually re-log while I am in the air 
and then I actually can cancel the ghost command. Now most temporary commands are stopped when you re-log. So if you've got a problem because of one of the commands, just re-log and that'll fix most things. But once again, some things are permanent, like the GM buff, which permanently levels up your character to max. If you spawn in a dinosaur, you can easily just destroy my target on it and then it goes away, so there's no long-lasting effects from that. But keep that in mind as you're using console commands but be very careful with them. Now I'll put a link in the description for the ARC wiki website and the console command list so you can check out all these other console commands on your own. Now there are tragic times when your game file gets corrupted or something like that happens or you know as one of my subscribers said he loved ARC so much on Switch he bought it for Xbox for the better graphics and all of the updates and he was super happy about that but he was not happy he was going to have to start his game over since you can't transfer the data and I said hey check out these console commands you can just spawn back in every item that you had on Switch, and then rebuild your base, resummon all your dinosaurs, and then level your character back up. And within a couple hours, he had everything that he had gotten over the last couple months in Arc Switch. So that's another thing. It does kind of protect you in case you lose your data or anything else. So hopefully you'll be able to recover any glitches or weird stuff that just sometimes happens on Arc, unfortunately, because it is such a complex and ridiculously amazing game. When you think about it, your little tiny Switch console is running an entire ecosystem with all the subroutines of every creature in it. And it's a lot, so there are just little glitches that are going to happen. So hopefully this video has helped you a lot to be able to mitigate some of those problems that can occur. And you can also just use these console commands and cheats to make ARC so easy and fun. And some of you even have kids who love dinosaurs who would have a lot of fun with Ark if you just give them god mode and let them just run around and walk around with the dinosaurs. So hopefully something in this video has helped just about everybody. Now if this was helpful, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. That helps us a lot. And be sure to enable notifications. Ring that little bell when you subscribe. And it will tell you when the next video comes out on this channel, which is usually every Every couple of days. We have so many helpful tips and tricks that we teach you. Also, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these admin commands, if you have any that are particularly helpful that you use, and if you have any thoughts on console commands in general. I know a lot of people debate the ethics and whether it's cheating or not to fix glitches or, you know, however you want to use these. So drop a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Also, if you want to watch more videos that I am in. I have a new YouTube channel that my wife and I play console games together. It's a whole lot of fun and we would love it if you jump over there and subscribe on that channel too. It would help us out a lot because we're trying to get that channel off the ground. So check out the link in the description and it'll take you right over there. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.